One of the reasons I started the channel, The Shoe Enthusiast, was to f seek out and find new and emerging shoe brands to introduce to all of you out there. I mean, I have a passion for shoes, and there are so many good shoe companies out there that are providing excellent value, but they're just flying under the radar. So today, I have the distinct privilege to be reviewing a pair of George Lyon shoes based out of Austin, Texas. Their founder, Josh Spears, was kind enough to loan me a pair of their Benjamin Chukka boots for me to review and to share my honest opinion with all of you. And kind enough to send me this letter to tell me a bit about his company. And I had read a little bit about George Lyon on the web before, but some things I just didn't know. Like, I didn't know that a portion of each shoe sale goes to a charity called Kiva that provides microloans to entrepreneurs. So I'm really excited to review the Benjamin Chukka boots. Let's get started. So let's start this unboxing with the box itself. I like how this has a uh, branded tape over the box itself. It's a nice little touch. So I'm unboxing the Benjamin boot from George Lyon Shoes. And before I unbox it, I just want you guys to know that there is uh, something special in here that comes with all the George Lyon shoes, and you'll see it when I unbox it. So let's begin. So I heard this here, before I unbox it, I'm very excited. This here is a, this tartan pattern is an old family pattern of the founder of George Lyon Shoes. So this is a really great presentation. I'll probably get to the actual shoes itself. Comes here a set of rounded laces, more formal. Also you have here is your shoehorn, comes with it. Shoe bags, I do love shoe bags. Uh, I think that's indicative of good shoes that they have a shoe bag. So you can see that every pair of George Lyon shoes comes with a matching belt, so we're going to take all these out here. Oh, this is really nice. Let's take all these out. So set this like this to give you a better idea of what comes in each uh, box of George Lyon shoes. But this is the thing I find the most interesting is a matching belt comes with every pair of shoes. Now I think that this is something you don't see from shoe companies. Uh, the belt is complimentary. You can always buy a matching belt, but I just found it really interesting how this is a, uh, this comes with the actual shoe. And since made out of the same leather, uh, this leather is uh, grain leather uh, from France, the Anone uh, Tannery, if any of you know your tanneries. And so you have it coming in the spot. So I find that this actually solves a problem for a lot of, a lot of us who, when we buy shoes, are looking for matching belts and we can never seem to get a belt that matches 100%. Uh, having this come complimentary with the shoes, I think, is a pretty big deal. So I'm going to look at the Benjamin Chukka boots themselves. 
Now, the first thing that I really notice when I, when I look at these is the quality of leather. This is very good leather. This is pebble grain leather. Uh, it comes from the um, Enone Tannery in France. And if you know your tanneries, you know the quality of that particular one. And it really is excellent leather. I'm, I'm, I, sometimes I really wish you could feel it. You know, it's tough with a review video, but I can see that this is excellent. Let's cut here. And so looking here, perhaps you can see this. This is actually not Goodyear welt, but this is called a Norwegian welt or a storm welt. And without going into too much detail, these are welted in a way that makes them waterproof. So if you want a kind of a tough shoe that you can wear out in a lot of conditions, a storm welt or Norwegian welt will be something you would want in a shoe. Usually you usually can tell, you can see just by the stitching here that this is the kind of welt it is. And this has a commando sole here. So. I see myself, I could be wearing these, you know, just out about in town, or if I want to go hiking, or you want to go up a, I don't know if I'd go mountain climbing per se, that might be a bit too much, but hey, maybe so, you never know, I could do, I could do that, but I could see these are very versatile shoes, I mean, I think they look great just sitting there like I wear with my usual uh, outfits. Uh, maybe a bit more casual, of course. This is uh, I don't really feel like this is a, a, a dress shoe, like perhaps uh, like an Oxford or something like that. But definitely, I mean, I could I could wear these uh, with many different styles. And so, let's look at the other one. This is a very nice, very nice shoe. So you can kind of get an idea of the shape of it. I kind of like this. It's, it doesn't look that clunky to me. I think sometimes uh, shoes have storm welts. Can they, they don't look too elegant. They don't taper too much. But I find this is a pretty decent balance. Look at this. I mean, it's a boot for sure. Looks like it's got a lot of volume there, and I'm I'm gonna need that because uh, those who watch my channel would know I talk about my wide foot all the time. But um, the guys at George Lyon said that my true to size. Uh, would fit just fine with this so when I try it on we'll, we'll find out so let's take a look at the inside of the shoe so the inside of this is very very soft very nicely lined okay very nice insole Look in chukka boots. I look for I look for softness uh, on lining. This is a very nice leather lining. So this is a very very nice. See what happens when I try them on. So in the end. My opinion on these shoes is high quality. This is excellent leather. I think that's where you really begin with. It's a leather, excellently welted. The craftsmanship made in Spain. My initial impression is this is it's well a well-made chukka boot. I feel like it's versatile. I love the pebble grain and. Those who know me and watch my channel know that that's not a, a type of leather that I have a lot of, but I find this is very aesthetically pleasing. I like the fact this is not so clunky and that I can kind of wear this wherever I want to go. Uh, the Commando sole. Benjamin boot goes for about $460. I think for what you get, that plus the matching belt, which is not again not something I've ever seen in a shoe company before I think that is a good value for what you're buying so I'd say give George Lyon shoes a try 
They have a couple of other shoes. I really wanted to review this Chukka boot because number one, I love Chukka boots. I really do love Chukka boots. I, um, those who know, I like, I like the kind of ankle boot, but I also wanted a chance to kind of talk about the Norwegian welts to see if this was all it was cracked up to be. And I can see the craftsmanship is quite good. So I would definitely say, give them a try and I appreciate you watching uh, my video and uh, my review of George Lyon Shoes out of Austin, Texas. I want to thank Josh Spears, uh, the CEO of George Lyon, for loaning these to me so that I could review them. Uh, I really do appreciate the chance to review new shoe brands so I can bring them out to you guys and uh, introduce them to you. I think that there's a lot of shoe brands out there today that are just really good shoe brands that we just don't see a lot of. George Lyon, I think, is one of those brands that you should definitely uh, give a try. I know they offer free returns, free shipping, so you really got nothing to lose. And again, every shoe is a matching belt. Just an amazing small touch that I think really makes George Lyon shoes stand out. So we're gonna give these a uh, try on. And one thing I noticed right when I put them on is you can really feel the quality of leather. Sometimes you really don't know it until you get them on your feet and this is really good quality leather. Now, guys at George Lyons suggest I go true to size. I tend to wear a 10.5E or an 11D. They said a 10.5 would be good for me. And as I have them on my feet, uh, I do think that that's probably about right there. It's slightly snug, but I think after a couple of wears, they'll break in quite nicely. All right, well, thank you for watching this review, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.